Hey guys, Rob Ford here with Miraplex uh, uh, alongside uh, David Turner. Uh, and we're going to be talking to you today about uh, extending your Velo Cloud SUN network into AW, the AWS cloud. Uh, I am the principal technologist here at Miraplex, and David is the technical program manager. Uh, David, let's get into the agenda real quick. So within the AWS integration, uh, we're going to touch a little bit on the, the um, IPsec tunnel through the Velo Cloud uh, gateway network and, and what that looks like. We're also going to talk a little bit about the, the virtual edge within the um, AWS uh, environment. And then we're also going to talk a little bit about the direct connect through the partner gateway within the Velo Cloud architecture. So the first integration with with AWS is an IPsec tunnel through our Velo Cloud gateways. Some of the benefits of this, it's you know you can quickly turn it up, quickly spin it up. You get quality of service to um, from the remote site to the gateway, but from the gateways here, you're going to just have. Uh, an IPsec tunnel to typically a transit gateway in AWS. You can still do bandwidth aggregation at the edge. We also support redundant IPsec tunnels, so we can actually have from the VeloCloud gateways, we can actually have a, a, a primary IPsec tunnel. And then from another gateway, we have a, a redundant IPsec tunnel, and that can go from, you know, to a single transit gateway or to multiple transit gateways. All the routing's controlled uh, between AWS and on the orchestrator itself. Another integration that we see a lot of is a, a vEdge in AWS. This gives you the full benefit where you can have a full mesh from your remote sites all the way to to the V edge in AWS. So each of your sites will have a a uh, either dynamic or static tunnel depending on if you if you classify your V edge um, as a hub. So it would have a tunnel all the way to to AWS itself. So again, this is you know quick connectivity connectivity so we can turn it up quickly. You get full visibility and control all the way to AWS. So we can control our applications, our quality of service, all the way to, to AWS from the remote sites. We don't have to build an IPsec tunnel. It's all, it's all done um, automatically. We can do high availability in AWS as well. So if we wanted to have two V edges, we can do high availability. And we also get full segmentation support. So if we wanted to segment traffic for PCI compliance, we can segment that traffic all the way to to AWS. And we can put this in if we wanted to uh, communicate with a single vEdge um, into multiple VPCs, we can communicate through a, a transit gateway in that scenario. And Dave, just to, just to reinforce the point you made on the previous slide with the, the IPsec um, tunnel built from the VeloCloud gateways to the uh, AWS cloud, um, you, you don't get from, from the VCGs to the AWS cloud, you don't get the the DPM the MPL services or the remediation across those links because you're not extending the SD WAN um, all the way to AWS as you would with a virtual edge that would run in the AWS environment where you would enjoy the full benefits of traffic routing and steering and remediation all the way to the cloud. Correct. That that's correct, Robert. And on top of that, with the previous IPsec solution, all your traffic from your remote sites is going to have to go to your VCG. And then to AWS, so you know you kind of go back to more of a hub and spoke uh, topology right. instead of uh, any to any connectivity. But with the V edge in AWS, you know again you get the DMPO all the way to to AWS, and you get the full any to any connectivity. The last integration we're going to talk about today is a, a direct connect through a partner gateway. So Meriplex has our partner gateways that are built uh, in in our data centers and Equinix facilities, um, some in the uh, the AWS cloud itself. But what we can do here is again we still get quick connectivity to AWS. We get quality of service with the DMPO um, to AWS. But the only reason we're getting that is because we have a direct connect from our fellow cloud gateways to a transit gateway in AWS. So some of the benefits here is that you get uh, dedicated bandwidth. We can also do single or multiple um, si single or multiple VPC and account support as well on this one. No, that's great, David. And then, so what, if, if, if I were a customer uh, or a company or organization looking at uh, um, 
you know, spinning up AWS and, and leveraging that as part of my cloud strategy, why would I do one of these services, these architectures over the other? What's, what's, uh, we've talked about some of the benefits of each one, but just from a business perspective, why would I leverage one over the other? So you look at cost. So the IPsec tunnel is going to be the the least amount of cost. Um, then you go through, you know, then you got to look at the cost of, of AWS, you know, a direct connect to AWS. You got to look at the cost of that versus, versus putting a V edge in there. So really it comes down to cost. Um, the, the, in my experience, the, the, um, as far as benefits goes, the, the, the most beneficial solution is going to be putting a V-Edge there. And what we've seen customers do is we've seen customers put V-Edges in different regions, um, depending on where their VPCs and servers are located. No, thanks, David. That's fantastic. So, guys, that, that ends this, this, uh, this video. We wanted to do a quick one for you guys um, just to talk a little bit about, you know, um, um, extending your um, VeloCloud SD-WAN network into um, AWS. And so please feel free to contact us if you have any additional questions. You can vi visit Meriplex.com um, or you can visit us on LinkedIn uh, forward slash Meriplex communica communications um, or you can email us at connect at Meriplex.com. Have a good day and be safe.